But we've got to switch gears for a hot second because AMD, they are the hot talk of the town right now, unveiled its new AI chip with an accelerator that can speed processing for technology like ChatGPT and other bots. The showcase has been labeled as the chip maker's answer to NVIDIA's current dominance in the space. Yahoo Finance executive editor Brian Sazi sat down with AMD CEO Lisa Su yesterday and asked her about AI's role in the company. Take a listen. Everyone has, you know, sort of uh, captured this whole idea of chat GPT and generative AI and co-pilot functions, um, using AI to help us um, in our businesses and our personal lives, making us more productive and more capable. And the underlying technology for that is GPUs. And so AMD, just the latest stock to surge on this news, and particularly here as you were listening to some mm -hmm. of the conversation there from um, Lisa Su and uh, our yeah. own Brian Sazi. What specifically sticks out to me is the fact that you're still going to have in this near term, as long as there are major players in the chip space, right. like an AMD, like an NVIDIA, that are prioritizing the cloud, prioritizing yeah. data center, and where they can use some of their chip manufacturing and design right now, and ultimately fabricating some of these chips as well, to really speak to the demand that's already coming in and, yeah. and being incurred for both of these businesses for these chips, so that language learning models yeah. can be deployed so that right. applications can be built on top of those. I, I think they're being the early the early beneficiaries of this, but yes. I don't think but necessarily that- they're Right, well, I don't think that one necessarily is a stopper of trajectory for the mm -hmm. other either. It's not like this is gonna be the Reuben Patterson, uh, right. to, well, Reuben Patterson said he was the Kobe <laughs> stopper. Turns out he was not many years ago, a uh, little basketball history for folks out there. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I, I think this is still a, a rising tide moment, but Let's it'll be- votes, yes. It'll be interesting to see exactly where some of the gains and profits and investments that are continued on an ongoing basis are necessary right. for these companies. And I'd agree with you about the rising tide lifts all boats because look, we're seeing shares up in the pre-market in terms of AMD, but it's still playing catch up to NVIDIA, but it's fine, you know? Yeah. Uh, and even with, you know, some of the things that were left out. So I was here when Brian did the interview with Lisa. And so, you know, he asked about pricing and that's something mm. that analysts would want to see. She danced around that. She didn't answer that directly. So it's unclear exactly what the pricing will be like. And she just talked more about demand. Uh, so the the demand is there, obviously, uh, you know, and the demand around uh, expecting AI chips, expecting it to be a $30 billion market this year and then doubling every or nearly doubling every year for the next few years. Yeah. Right. So the demand is there. So that's what they're gaining some momentum from clearly. Um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, no, I think you make a great point. And, and the demand starts with data center, mm -hmm. then moves into some of the other partners that they have. If they if they land a partnership, with AWS, mm -hmm. it would be massive. I mean, right. we've already seen NVIDIA come out and even as they were talking about DGX Cloud and what that can mean for AI, and then already netting a partnership with a company as large as an entity like Google right. and saying that, yeah, we've already got some of these partnerships that are gonna be able to move forward. Um, if AWS and AMD had right. a, some type of partnership or longer term deal or tie up, that could potentially be a major uh, tailwind that a lot of investors would expect in terms of the bottom line for yeah. AMD. Indeed.